Okay. Hello guys, it's me recording the Lapisaurus. Oh no, I do not have a new desk because you know special is not special. And today, but today I'm gonna be reviewing Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Indoraptor. So you can see in the back of the box, you can see Lockwood and got some bars. Plus it looks like it's in a cage, which is nice. I do like the different style of packaging. Got some forest. Indoraptor. You could pose it, so I'm gonna probably use this for stop motion. Got the bottom. That and also you got the top. And you got that. So to say but let's open him up by the way I just want to mention that it goes like this so I'm going to at this ain't gonna lie you won't be able to take this out and put him in back in the box so last time that this will be like this last time this will be ever ever able to be put back in a box okay it's not in. I can't do it with one hand this thing ain't coming back out by the way I had it upside down I'm a moron huh <sighs> okay the box. Okay, this still ain't working out. The reason why I did the first bit on that shelving over there, well, okay, um, sorry about that. Um, the reason why I did that was because how tall the box is, because on my normal desk, <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought. Here's what. Yeah, it's pretty tall. It's like one of the tallest, skinniest boxes of the dress Park series. So, yeah. Don't ask when my tripod is down. Okay, so let's get into the box. I'm actually getting sort of sick of filming over there near the desk area. It's sort of hard to film over there. So let's see, so first off you got, I need to close my blinds for crying out loud. It's still bad. Okay, well it ain't that bad, or as bad. See here, you got the Jurassic World logo. You got Blue and Owen Indoraptor. <clears throat> or Dominus Raptor. But yet again, everyone calls it Indoraptor for short because Come on, who's gonna say Indo Indominus Raptor over and over again? So you can see you got some trees right here. And some rain at night. Some more trees. You got sort of like a cage vibe. Some more trees. Got the little hologram TV screen. Oh, I zoomed in. Um, got some CGI ones. Both for CGI. But, you know, you got Blue with Owen and Drive Spear of Car. You got the big old Indoraptor itself. Um, and he also says, like, you could put it on, like, four legs. Indoraptor, movie on authentic, possibility. Scan it, I'll give you the code so you could have it. Jurassic World, Jurassic World, more Lockwoodness. Got some rain, Jurassic World, super posable. You know that, you know. On the bottom, it's just black. On the side, it tells you assembly required, like one time only. You tell all that. If you want the barcode, if, if you can't find this guy, here is the code. So just tell them that code if, if they're out of stock. Chances are it'll probably be out in the back, so best idea would probably be telling a um, employee to look in the back and give them that code. And chances are they'll probably give it to you. Have I done it before? Yes. And has it worked? Yes, it has. So I recommend you do it yourself. You guys probably already seen that one toy hunt video, probably where there's like a whole buttload of these guys, and I was looking for the best paint job which I actually regret getting this one because the paint job is not good at all but eh. by the way am I also the only one that notices 
that the prototype legit has a battery pack. There's that, yeah, that's a battery pack right there. It has, it has a battery pack. Am I the only one that noticed that? Here though, I don't know, you can't really tell because the arm is in the way, but so yeah, that has a battery pack. But this one, but in reality, it actually doesn't. No battery pack, no noises. So is this supposed to originally make noises? Probably. So besides that, um, so there's a figure, and here was the box. Pretty decent box, I must admit. Let's get into the figure. Okay, so when I said mine doesn't have a good paint job, the reason why I say that is because if you look at the teeth, Yeah, yeah, they're missing paint. And also, yeah, there's paint slop and there's missing paint. So it's like, yeah, it, it does not have good paint whatsoever. Also, not just that, there's also chipping right here, if you could see. There's some chipping of paint. So, yeah. That I ended up not getting the good one. I got the black sheep, but I still I still think it's a good figure. You know, it's just some hard, hardly noticed, you know, features. Like for instance, if you look at it from far away from right here, I guess if you don't really pay too much attention to it, but eh, still, it's it's there. I must admit, there's also another complaint. Which is this little tail area because look at the big old gap right there. It doesn't even fit in fully. So that really sucks. So because right here, yeah, I can see it fitting in, but here, eh, no, not really. It's way too big of a cut. So yeah, it sort of sucks because it's all nice and all of a sudden oh, goes down. There ain't really that much posability of this one either, so yeah, that sucks. I wish they like you had to put this part in. I, I, I wish they did a little better, but, eh. And also, not just that, there's also one more thing that, honestly, I can care less about the others. If they had this, if they added this little feature, I would not even care about the rest. And that is that they should have put rubber. Uh, I, I don't know why, but, I don't know why, but ever since this figure came out i always hated the fact how none of the figures have rubber not even one besides the most source but the most source doesn't count for it, it, it just doesn't seriously like you could you should have put rubber on this guy like he's one of the main villain dinosaurs how could you not put rubber on him just like the t-rex how could you not put rubber on it like, uh, I don't know, but hey, just saying, it'd be nice if they put rubber, you know, just like the thrash and throw T-Rex. Oh, hey, um, we have to put two gigantic cuts in it for the action feature to work. So you're going to have to deal with cuts because we can't really fix that. Yeah, here's a way to fix it. Rubber. It bends, it scratches. That's why you won't need to worry about big old cuts. Like in the neck, or in the tail, or any cuts, because you wouldn't have to worry about it with the rubber, because it bends, it scratches, it's good. Like heck, if it was just the body and the tail, that'd be perfect. I'd be okay with that. If it was just the tail, be okay. Just the neck, it'd be okay. Just the head, it'd still be okay. As long as they put rubber, but they didn't. But, uh still good figure i must admit i actually really i'm actually really digging this figure even though i'm not really a big fan of the movie honestly i'm actually really not a big fan of the movie i don't really like it that much but for a figure it's pretty good you know it ain't the indoraptor's fault that the movie wasn't really good but hey um and uh, uh okay now i know a few people would probably actually get 
probably mad because he can't even have an opinion in 2018. But if we did, yeah, my opinion is the movie wasn't good. I know, I know some people might get mad over that because my opinion ain't like theirs and for some reason, you know, it's like, oh, hey, you should be grateful and all that. I don't need to be grateful to not like something. I, I could, I don't need to like it and also be grateful at the same time or something like that. Doesn't mean, never mind, but um, you get the point. You get the picture. Okay, so let's get into the figure. By the way, really quick, this thing is shiny. Like, like really shiny. Like, geez. Um, besides the tail, the back of the tail, it ain't as shiny, but... <laughs> look at this thing, it's like so shiny. Which I am somewhat digging, I guess. Because, you know, sort of, it seems like it feels in the rain or whatever. So I do sort of dig that. And I guess you got close to rubber if the soft plastic are almost rubber-like for the quill so you don't get stabbed. And I also like the fact how it's hard plastic for the claws. Or at least toe claws. This, this is just soft plastic. I do like that. And also, I do like the fact that I could use this for videos, which I am going to actually do. That's like the reason why I bought it this morning. So, yeah, let's take a close look at the paint. Okay, so enough complaining, and let's get into the good side of this figure, which is the paint job and all and all that. So you can see on here, you guys can't really actually see it on camera that well, but it pretty much, like, is a red eye, and also, like, a little trail leading from the red eye back. And that's on both sides, luckily. That's neat. You're also able to open the mouth and close it. So if you open it wide enough, it's actually pretty um, rough. You know, it's pretty stiff. Oh, and also, here's some more paint slob right there. That sucks. I have a thing for paint slob. As well as the back teeth. Still paint slob, but hey, that's what we're gonna get. Um, no paint on the bottom jaw, no paint on the roof of the mouth only paint is there on the tongue and that weird gum thing I, I forgot what it's called but uh, if you close it it sort of stays open a little but if you like press it really hard you keep on pressing it then all of a sudden eventually it'll close fully which I actually sort of adore I actually really like that so it doesn't stay open unlike the Dominus Rex um, you also can see it has, it also has some scales on top, like huge scales, like almost like armor. And I really like the fact that we got each and every individual scale on this figure. Every single scale. So that's actually really, I must admit, I actually got to give him more credit to that than like the mouth and all that. Um, claws are not painted, but yet again, that's actually a good thing for once because the claws aren't painted in the movie. No, no, like it is a puppet, so like, and CGI, so you know, it's still considered as paint. You know, if you look at it in like a puppet animatronic way, you know, if you look at it in real life, yeah, I guess they'll be painted, but they're not colored pretty much. Which is nice. Um, so, I know I'm saying um a lot. I don't know why I'm saying that. I gotta fix that. But, here's the back of the arm. It's nice on each bottom arm. You got some quills. So that's an armpit. It's got quills. You got a really nice, I'm actually really digging this. It got a orange slash yellow. Or actually an orange slash gold. Or metallic yellow. Metallic orange and metallic yellow. That's what it is. Stripes. And it's not all the way down to the tail side. It leans, ends like right there. At that one spot. Which sort of sucks. But it's still good, you know. So. Really nice. Both sides. 
I really actually, I'm actually sort of liking this figure. I must admit, this figure might be my favorite. I must admit, this figure is probably my favorite. It gotta be my favorite. It just has to. They got the colors correct. It's, it just gotta be my favorite figure. I must admit, it has to be. Dilophosaurus didn't ever get the colors correct. Except for the, the statue version, but that's just plain stupid. They don't... The T-Rex is just dull. The Triceratops is not even what it looks like from the movie. The Tranodon... Tranodon's just a different story. That one's just... The Growler... Not Growler. The Roarvorous Tranodon. That one's just sad. There's just too many things. I... I don't even like that one. That one just got issues. But this one, though... This one's actually really neat. I must admit, heck, even if it doesn't have rubber and it has a few errors, it's still a pretty good figure. Like, heck, before I made this video, uh, made, before I made, after I unboxed it, I actually, well, you know, and actually, never mind, never mind. That, that should be a different story, actually. But besides that, you know, whatever. But basically, it's a really nice figure. I must admit, it's sort of Kenner-like, I must admit. It's posability, like, it's really nice. No rubber, but yet again, it still has somewhat of a, like a real feel to it. So even with no rubber, it's still good because, I guess, because it's armored, if you put it in that way. You know, probably like really sick skin. That's fine. By the way, I forgot to mention that there's like, you could see his rib cage on, I think, both sides, if I'm correct. Yeah, like both sides, you can see a rib cage if you shine it up to the light. So you can see like a rib cage. So yeah, the neck moves, you know, it could tilt, I mean, turn. It could move side to side, up and down, head, on side, all, all the way, side to side, up and down. However the heck you want to do. The arms move out in. They move a full 360. The, the elbows move full 360. They move pretty much anywhere you want, really. So yeah, they move up and down until your heart's desire. Same with the hands. They can move full 360, move up and down. Almost side to side, almost. So yeah, that's really nice. Same with the other arm. The leg, you pretty much could move in and out. You could move a full 360. You could move back, forth, not all the way forth. It's good. Uh, you could turn this. Um, this, yet again, same thing, you could like move it, sorry, the tail is moving the tripod, it, it's too big, I'm sorry, like this, this is what it looks like, while I'm focused on here, this is what that looks like, it, it's way too big, well not too big, but I mean like too big for my desk pretty much, because this darn shelf is in the way, but, yeah, pretty much that can move like that. Can move like that. Can't really move side to side. Toe claws can't. Uh, main toe claw can't move sadly, but I do like the fight. It's how they put in like the little cut right there. I think with both of them, both are the same. So Nino and one doesn't have better articulation. They're both the same. At least that I know of. So yeah, it's really nice. I really enjoy this figure. One problem is that when you try making it, at least I could be wrong, but yeah, you can't really have the tail move that much down. So you're constantly gonna have its butt in the air, I guess, like a skunk. I guess it is black. But um, yeah, oh yeah, and also tail. You can't really twist it. You can move it side to side. You can move it up or down. Seems this up, down, 
you could twist this a little, really stiff. We will move side to side, up and down, twist it. This not, this count that, but yeah. It's actually a really good figure, an estimate. So yeah, Let's look at the paint. Well, it's not really that much paint, but yeah, it's all metallic and shiny. So yeah, that's pretty much it, all the way to the end. So yeah, really nice figure. I'm actually glad that they did not make this electronic Indoraptor. The reason why is because, you know, you could have like scenes where it comes out of the water and all that. They probably thought of that, really, because people are going to be doing stop motion of this. Okay, here we go. There you go, Dominus Rex compared to Indoraptor. There you go. It's a nice comparison. You're welcome. And also, here's some other comparisons that I have. Like, for instance, let me just put in a Kenner figure, which is going to be Alan Grant. Why not? So here he is compared to Alan Grant. To a Kenner figure, pretty much. Here he is compared to a Mattel figure. Jeez, this guy's big. So yeah, there he is compared to a Mattel figure. Kenner figure and Mattel Raptors. They're pretty much this Mattel Raptor and a Kenner Raptor are pretty much the same size. So I'm not really going to be bringing in a Kenner Raptor this time. This is just the same size. That's the whole point. So yeah, here is compared to a Velociraptor. And... Just for the heck of it, I don't know if you guys know what this thing is, but I decided to bring on the first Omega Raptor looking thing. And you might be like, first Omega Raptor, what do you mean? When, since when was there a first um, gigantic Raptor, whatever. No, I'm not talking about the Utah Raptor. I don't have one of those. I'm talking about the... Velociraptor X, pretty much. So yeah, here he is compared to, to Velociraptor X. I must admit, this, these guys would actually have a pretty good fight. But yeah, there would probably be it compared to a Velociraptor X. They're almost the same size. Like heck, just for the heck of it. That's pretty much done. They're legit almost the same size. Which one I go for? I'll probably say Boss Raptor because it's, you know, my childhood. But which one maybe looks cooler? Uh, I don't know. That's something for you guys to decide. But yeah, here is the Indoraptor. Will I, re will I re be reviewing the other Indoraptors? No, no. I I'm sorry, but I'm probably not really going to be reviewing any other Indoraptor. Probably because, well, I think one's good enough. There's only one Indoraptor besides the white one, but that one got deleted. There's only one. I think one's good enough. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you all next time. Goodbye. Have a wonderful day.